the SAS Pay Server extension is a lot like BTC Pay Server um, or BitPay. It allows you to make a charge and then share that charge. And somebody can pay um, over Lightning Network, of course. But there is also, by using the Watch Only extension, there's the ability to be able to add an on-chain um, payment method as well, uh, which, is, which is very nice. I cover the Watch Only extension in a different tutorial on this playlist, so have a little look at that. Basically, it just gives you the ability to add a master public key and then generate fresh addresses from the master public key. Um, so we're going to generate a new charge. And uh, what are we buying? We're buying a new car. And the car costs 2,000 sats. This is going to be available for two minutes, the um, charge. And there's a webhook URL here. So this is... Um, you know, a lot of payment portals like WooCommerce, for example, once the payment has cleared, it needs to receive some information to say, yes, this payment is cleared in order for your order to, to proceed. So that's really for, for that kind of thing. Or you could send the transaction elsewhere if you wanted to. You could maybe, I don't know, send it to some, um, yeah, some email or, or, or use if this and that to, to send it to some spreadsheet somewhere. Um, there's a completed button URL, so that could be your batch of merchant URL. And then there's a... Um, you know, you can name that button something. Uh, we're just going to leave that blank because I've got nowhere to send the customer once it's paid. Uh, I can click on on-chain here because I want on-chain to be an option. And then this is the wallet from the watch only extension. Uh, I can click on the LMBits wallet and then select test, create charge. And that was very easy, wasn't it? So here's my charge for my car. You can see I've already got a couple of other charges. Um, one which has uh, been paid um, and the time has elapsed. There's another one which has still got 52 minutes. Um, and then this one has only got a couple of minutes. I did add an extra 30 seconds onto the time. Uh, um, I can't remember exactly why I did that, but it was for a good reason. Uh, but I did an extra, I'd say that that's worth bearing in mind when you generate these times. Uh, so here's a shareable payment link, which you can give to somebody to pay. Uh, and we can see uh, it's a very similar UI to BTC Pay Server. You've got the you know, progress bar at the top there couple of buttons here to select on chain and lightning um, I'm going to select lightning of course I'm going to pay the invoice before the time runs out okay and then you know if I would put a URL in that webhook URL it would send some information to the webhook but I'm just going to pay that there we are and that very quickly as you can see registered as being paid um, and then also if I selected the back to merchant uh, a button to be there there would be a button and you could click that and go back to the merchant and that is really it um it's a really simple easy way to create charges for lightning network and for so on chain which is pretty good fun um, i'll see you again thanks for watching cheers